So the first thing I'm going to make today is some soup with roasted peppers, butternut squash and a nice dollop of Moorish smoked hummus. So here we go. Here goes the soup. Very simple. We're going to chop an onion. So we want nice big slices. I mean, you can make it look beautiful if you like, but for me, time is time. So let's not waste time that we don't have when we don't need to. Treat your ingredients with respect, but don't go mad. For me, treating them with respect means making them taste as nice as they possibly can, not making them look unnecessarily pretty. So you don't want the seeds in there. Chuck it in, they're not all the same size, it doesn't really matter. So now we're gonna do the yellow pepper. Same again, roughly top, put it in. And then finally, the rich and velvety butternut squash and I'm going to show you a great tip for that. So in goes the pepper and my butternut squash, not as difficult as you might think. So to prepare your butternut, it couldn't be easier, mind your fingers. Cut it in half, put it in. So I like to use a lovely, healthy rapeseed oil. You could use, alternatively, a groundnut oil. And the thing about those two types of oil is that they don't taste of an awful lot, which is a good thing because you're not looking to mask the taste, you're looking to enhance it. And the salt, just a little, will do that for you. And that's it, ready to go in the oven. So they're in the oven, about 180 degrees, which is 160 in a fan oven, for about 45 minutes. Halfway through I do check them because although it's nice that they get a little bit black on top, we don't want them to be burnt. So I put some tin foil on top, keeps them nice and moist. After 45 minutes they're ready to come out and go in the soup. So we've taken the roasted vegetables out of the oven. They smell absolutely divine. Let's have a look. Oh, beautifully caramelised. We're going to get ready to put them in the blender. And that's the soup done. So our easy peasy butternut squash, take the seeds out, yeah that's much easier than when it's raw. So then we take the seeds out of this one, so easy, and then we're going to scrape out the flesh ready to go in the blender. Blitz it all together and that's soup made and you know if you get a little bit of skin it doesn't actually matter. Oh, look at that. Glossy, shiny, slightly caramelised. So now, nearly done. This is my secret ingredient for soup. Lovely and salty, so if you're not that keen on salt, don't add too much. And some hot water. That's about 300 mils of hot water. Into the blender, and off we go. <laughs> Delicious. 